One of the challenges we have as tower gardener is seedling. So, you know, starting from seed, getting something like this, that looks all nice and compact and um, healthy, and then turning it into this. So this part isn't hard. You know, the tower gardens pretty much grow the lettuce for us, but we gotta have something to put in there. Every couple months we're planting new green bean plants. So it's just a different situation. And so let's talk about that. Today. Okay, so I'm gonna unbox this grow light, which is what Easy Bright told me to do. The box, oh, a little protective cap, and some packaging that actually kept it nice and secure. And here we go. Oh, that's kind of cool, look at that. You know, if this works for like 25 bucks, this will be so cool. I mean, this whole setup is cheap and easy. Okay, you wanna see something cool? Alexa, turn off grow light. Alexa, turn on grow light. <laughs> that is so cool. My husband put this on a smart, I don't know what you call these things. I'll link to it. Smart something, smart plug. But you know, I can tell Alexa to turn it on and off, but also I can control it with my phone and so I have it automatically set up to turn off at 8 p.m. and on at 6 a.m. That is convenience. So day four, you know, almost everything is sprouted and it's doing really, really well. I can take these out and start putting some of them so in the So this tower. is why I like to start plants inside in Florida. It's just rainy, 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 rainy and you never know if I start plants inside, I can really end up with, swap, you know, just waterlogged plants, the seeds float out. But let's take this seminal pumpkin and let's plant it. Voila. And if you're wondering what this little setup is, this is a tower garden. Um, I did take the top off of it because I'm gonna clean that part up and get ready for fall planting, but I did not want to take my um, beautiful, gorgeous cherry tomato out. So I left that in and I've just reduced it to a one tier tower garden. This actually works really, really well. And, and I, you know, it's good for the seminal pumpkin too. It'll give it lots of room to grow really, really big, but um, keeping these other guys going over here. So I have lots of lettuce and radishes and herbs for the summer. So Anyways, I think that the grow light is a success. It'll keep me going with nine or 12 or maybe even up to 20 seedlings at a time. And it'll make um, starting seedlings pretty dang convenient when I can do it right in my office and it'll take me seconds to stroke a Rockwell cube, throw seeds in and put it under the light. So uh, you guys should give I it a try. I notice here that I did not use any vermiculite. I did not let these seeds sit overnight without sunlight. I didn't cover them. I did nothing to them. Um, if you live in a cold climate, you may want to put a, a heating pad underneath to keep these warm. If you um, are in a very, very dry climate, you may want to cover them. And you can use a plastic bag or you can use a cover like this to keep the humidity in there. So my favorite thing so about what I love this. about this is it's cheap, it's simple. It doesn't take up much space on my counter. I can just start a few seeds at a time. I've got nine seedlings that I'm starting here. Um, it's something that I can just keep going indefinitely. I can just keep throwing Rockwell cubes in there, planting seeds. They'll keep my tower garden going. Um, if I pull a lettuce plant, I can start another one right away. And it just really fills the...